This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and what I'm going to do is show you how to create a custom page of collections and we're going to create a custom template in order to do that. So you can put any collections on the page that you want and let me just show you an example of how it works. So on the home page here and this will be on every page, this menu right here, it does have a drop down where you can go to individual collections but normally what you might have is you might have the jewelry collection here and this would show all the items in the jewelry collection. So I, Basically, like when I click on the necklace collection, it shows all the items in the necklace collection. But what I want to do is when I click on jewelry, I want to see the collections that are in jewelry. So when you click on this, what we're going to do is we're going to see the collections, necklace collection, the bracelet collection, and the pinecone collection. So basically, you can customize the collections that show up on your page. So that way, when you go to the page, then you can go into necklaces, for instance. So that's how it works and let's go ahead and show you how to set it up. So before you begin, it's always a good idea to make a backup of your theme and to do that just click on the action button and click on duplicate. And then you're going to see that it's creating a duplicate of the theme. So if I make some error or delete the wrong thing, I can always bring my theme back to the way it was today. Uh, I also like to rename the theme so that I remember when I was working on it because you may have multiple backups. So if I click on rename, it's going to allow me to go in and just change the name of this. So I'm just going to call this backup and I like to put whatever the date is. And click rename and you're done. And now you have a backup that you can go back to if you make an error. So uh, what you want to do is click the action button and you want to go down to the edit code. So once you get to the edit code, you want to make sure that you don't have the page template that we're going to create. Some premium themes will have the page template that we're going to create and it's called page uh, dot list dot collections. Now we have a list dot collections, but we don't have a page dot list dot collections. So that's what the name is that we're going to use. And all we need to do is go to the top and click Add a New Template. We're going to choose the Page Template in the drop-down. So now just change this to List-Collections. And then click Create Template. You want to highlight what's in the template and you're going to replace it with this code. I'm going to put this code in a link to this code in the description of the video and it will also be on my blog at pinehurstwebsites.com and I'll put a link to that as well. So you're just going to want to paste the code that I'm going to give you uh, and then save right here in the upper right hand corner. Okay so now we've created our template. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a page and we're going to name that page Jewelry. So let's go add a page in the upper right hand corner and call the page Jewelry. And now let's just change the template to page.list-collections, the template that we created, and click Save. So what I'm going to do now is create a uh, link list and navigation and that is going to show all the collections that I want to show on this page. So let's go to navigation on the left hand menu and then let's add a menu. I want to create a menu called jewelry and let's just save and now let's just add some menu items. Hit the add menu items button and I'm just going to do necklace add and I connected it to the necklace collection. Now I'm going to create one called um, bracelets and I'm going to search under collections and connect it to, if you didn't see what I did in the last one, set it, connect it to bracelets. And then one more, I'll just do pinecone and then I'm going to select collections and pinecone and add. I'm going to save that menu. 
Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm just going to preview the page so you can see it. So I have no menu for on the main menu, so I need to add that. So to do that, I'm going to go back to navigation and just call it the same thing on main menu. We're going to add that menu for jewelry. And I'm going to connect it to a page. And the page I have is jewelry. So I'm not connecting it to a collection. I'm connecting it to that page. And just click Add and Save Menu. Now, if I go back to the page and I reload it, I have jewelry here. So when I click on jewelry, it takes me to the page. And I have my necklace collection, bracelet, and pine cone. So if I click on that, it takes me to the entire collection of necklaces. And you can also use this menu as a drop down as well. So that's all there is to creating a page of collections. So if we want to go to this, this is what a page of collections it has the necklace collection, the bracelet collection, and the pinecone collection. So you can select the collections by the link list that you create. So if you go back to navigation, this is our link list. So whatever we put in here will come up under that page of collections. And we can create as many of these as we want. If we want to create another menu, we could go to navigation, add a menu, and we could create blue jewelry. And it could have everything uh, that was a blue necklace, a blue blue bracelet and a blue and the pinecone collection. So uh, so you can create as many collections as you want. Uh, this is all on my website and has step-by-step -step written instructions as well to help walk you through this as well as the code on pinehurstwebsites.com. Again, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites. Thanks for tuning in. And you can find more tutorials at pinehurstwebsites.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to like it. Thank you and have a great day.